Now, the official Sun Coast weather with ABC7 meteorologist John Scalzi. Yeah, we're heading to another toasty afternoon. 87 degrees already. The air temperature probably getting close to the 91 degree mark again this afternoon. Plenty of sunshine out there, and we have a little bit of high cloudiness kind of streaming in as upper level winds are generally coming in from the west and blowing a lot of cloud cover from shower and thunderstorm activity back to the west. Surface, we have a southwest wind. And that's also bringing up some lower level moisture, increasing our dew point. We start off the morning with dew points in the upper 60s, and now we're in the 70s once again. So as we head into the afternoon, those 70 degree dew point values are going to bring us some pretty sticky conditions, I think. Uh, yesterday it was, I thought personally, it was kind of oppressively hot in the afternoon. You walked outside and you, you know, you're know sweating buckets in no time at all. I think the same sort of thing again this afternoon. It did lead to some pretty big shower and thunderstorm activity yesterday in inland areas, and I think that's probably about the same location we'll see him again today. 88, Wachula, 89, Arcadia, 88, Mayaka, 89, and Parrish, Bradenton at 88, 87, as I said, in Sarasota, 88, and Venice, Inglewood at 86, and 84 degrees, Longbow Key. Northport comes in at 89, and Punta Gorda comes in at 90. So we have scanning radar, not picking up any rainfall currently, but again, I think that will change as we head into the afternoon. We'll develop a little bit of a sea breeze, we'll get that southeasterly wind flow switching to the southwest, and showers and thunderstorms will build in inland areas once again. We've already got a few kind of trying to build down to the south and lifting northward, but that will continue throughout the afternoon. I do think that today we have a better chance along the coastline of seeing a few more showers kind of drifting back toward the coast. So uh, up the rain chance today to about 30% near the coast, but inland certainly we've got about a 60% rain chance. Rain is something we still desperately need across the area, and this trough of low pressure that I kind of see carved, you can kind of see carved out here by the radar returns, is one of the things that's going to help by taking uh, the high pressure ridge, kind of chipping away at it a little bit and uh, making its effectiveness a little weaker. Also, on this first day of hurricane season, it's appropriate to look south. And we do have a tropical depression, number 2E, in the Pacific Basin, threatening Mexico with some very heavy rainfall. But it indirectly affects our weather by encouraging a plume of tropical moisture lifting northward across Gulf waters. And it heads all the way down through Central America and exits out into the Pacific in this tropical depression that could bring 14 inch rainfalls to parts of Mexico. Now the thing is, this is lifting northward and while it's highly unlikely that it could ever reemerge into Gulf waters in anything that could develop into a tropical system, it's certainly a very wet slug of tropical moisture and by the time it exits into Gulf waters it'll probably be picked up by winds and carried right over either northern or western Gulf waters. And that, in combination with this trough of low pressure that's going to be kind of significant as well, it's going to stick around and it'll help to wring out some of that moisture. As long and short of it is, it could lead to some significant rainfall. We could get this trough lifting northward and produce very heavy rainfall across perhaps north Florida, perhaps even central Florida. And some of the radar estimates are, or some of the uh, model estimates are suggesting that our radars are going to light up over the course of the weekend. So a few more clouds around, a bit more humidity, and a few more showers. I just want to show you this rainfall forecast through Saturday showing perhaps some four-inch rainfalls in some areas of Florida that are the, some of the driest in the country. So it would actually be very beneficial, although it could lead to a couple of sloppy days, Friday and Saturday, for parts of interior Florida. Watch the rain chances increase even for coastal regions over the weekend to about 50% as daytime highs will be held down by showers. Scott?